So a very interesting move from Ryan Garcia, who has teamed up with Errol Spence's trainer, Derek James. And after leaving his trainer Joe Goosen, after his defeat to Tank Davis, who really put on a lacklustre and, I guess, disappointing performance, where let's be honest, lacks that defensive discipline at times. And I guess in the case of this video, I just want to go over the pros and cons of Ryan Garcia teaming up and what it means for his career. So let's start off the positives. Now, I guess one of the major advantages of Ryan Garcia working with Derek James is that James has got vast experience in working with the likes of Errol Spence Jr. and Jermel Charlo, and has also done a great job with Frank Martin as well. And just from watching those guys, you kind of get that kind of old school fundamental approach by mastering the fundamentals, and that's what almost makes his fighters so effective at times. Now, Ryan Garcia has always been known for his explosive offense and in particular that lightning fast left hook. And there's no doubt being an over-reliance on that. And I think one of the main points after that Tank Davis defeat was that there needs to be a greater defense on his fundamentals. And in particular, you know, when he throws that left hook, you bring his right hand down, for example, which of course would lead him to getting knocked down by Tank. And I do think Derek James could help him effectively evade punches and his overall defensive strategy when going into fights. Now another advantage of working with Derek James is James is known for implementing rigorous training programs for his fighters to kind of maximise their endurance, power and just their overall fitness. And if Ryan Garcia is going to move up to £140, he'll of course be facing bigger guys and he needs to improve in this area. Now, in addition to the technical training Derek James can give, he does have a reputation of being very supportive and motivating to his fighters. And Ryan may need that necessary psychological support, especially after losing to Tank Davis the way he did. And the fact he didn't get up. Maybe him training down in Texas is exactly what Ryan needs to kind of develop a more mental resilience and a focus on his boxing without the distractions of living out in LA and all the influencers and celebrities he hangs out with all the time. I guess another additional advantage for Ryan is you'll have the opportunity to train and spar with elite fighters like Jermel Charlo, Errol Spence and Frank Martin. Even train alongside former heavyweight world champion Anthony Joshua and being part of that training camp around other top champions is maybe what Ryan actually needed after all. Obviously he was with Team Canelo before and he had a very similar setup when training with Eddie Reynoso. And although he might not be the top guy in the gym anymore, maybe that's exactly what he needs. He needs to be learning off other top fighters in the gym like Errol Spence and Jermel Charlo. But it all comes down to if he's willing to listen and take advice from these other champions and even Derek James. As obviously we all heard the stories around Team Canelo and Ryan being quite fragile in terms of the advice he was getting from Canelo Alvarez. But maybe after the tank fight he realises he does need to take some advice. But now let's look at the cons of what this means for Ryan. There will be an adaption period to get accustomed to the new training style of Derek James and the setup down in Texas and that could potentially disrupt Ryan's style himself and his rhythm and even his performance. We've seen it so many times before when fighters move to a new trainer and it does take two to three fights before they really start to kind of get what the trainer wants out of them. Now, Ryan Garcia has always been a kind of fast-paced, explosive boxing style, and this could potentially clash with Derek James's kind of more methodical and calculated approach of his fighters. And he'll need to find a kind of balance with these respective styles, I think. And that could require some compromises from Ryan Garcia to adjust to what Derek James is saying and will take time. And will this affect Ryan's performance in the ring as he tries to get used to what another new trainer is trying to tell him. Now, as we know, Derek James already has a lot of fighters on the roster, just like almost Eddie Reynoso had with Team Canelo. You know, Derek James has obviously Errol Spence Jr., who could be fighting Terence Crawford soon. 
There's Anthony Joshua now, Frank Martin, Andrew Melcharlo who could be fighting Tim Zhu. And that was also another problem I believe Ryan Garcia felt around Eddie Reynoso in that camp was he wasn't getting the time, unlike Canelo Alvarez was getting for example. And this itself could cause scheduling conflicts I guess with upcoming fights and even in the gym. And there's always the potential Ryan could then go down the same loophole of feeling he's not wanted or getting the attention off his new trainer. And lastly, I guess with a new trainer, there's always the possibility of distractions. And I guess it comes down to Derek James and Ryan Garcia's relationship. There's always been rumours that Ryan Garcia trains when he wants now and again, where unlike with Derek James's camp, it's very tight knit from what I've seen from the likes of Anthony Joshua and even Errol Spence say about and I guess after that potential mole in the camp for Ryan Garcia, he probably wants a quite tight camp where there can be no distractions. However, going off past reports of Ryan Garcia and his training ethic is very much just seeing how it plays out over the next few months or years. Now I guess overall, Ryan Garcia teaming up with Derek James, I think on paper it looks like it will be a good matchup in terms of building up his fundamentals again, his defensive skills and also get him physically ready for £140 if that's where he's moving up. And there will definitely be a bedding in period where they need to get used to each other and it might take a couple of fights, a few fights. Hey, you never know, it might even be one fight and Ryan will move on again. However, I'm still very interested to see how this plays out and I think this is a good move for Ryan. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Do you think this is a good style matchup for Ryan Garcia? And do you think Derek James can help him to improve and challenge at 140 pounds? I'd love to know. This has been Jamie from Boxing Life. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.